I often feel I'm on a collision course with the world around me. I think, if only I weren't me, but someone else. It's as if I have my personality against me. I'd like to change it. The biggest predictor of how happy, say, a 40-year-old is, is not how much they earn or how beautiful their wife is or, you know, how successful they are in their career. It's how happy they were when they were 15. My father was an alcoholic. My mother was depressed. I grew up with stories about great-grandfathers and distant uncles who killed themselves. And I've struggled with the darkness myself. But how much of this is genetic? How much of who I am today was already there from the beginning? The genetics is so strong that it actually accounts for the familial resemblance. So things run in families for reasons of nature and nurture. They say, but wait a minute, it looks like nature's accounting for the familial resemblance. Why is it that when two people encounter the same thing in their lives, they respond to it very differently from each other? Are our lives, for the most part, predetermined from birth because of the way we're put together? How much can we determine and change for ourselves? You've got a diamond in a rough here. This kid, you can really make an imprint on. You can really develop him because he or she has great upside opportunity as well as downside risk. And that really is, or can be, a blessing, not, if you would, a curse. When we know about our genes, it says something about our brains and the brain we can shape. You know, think of where you're sitting here. You got here partially because of that pain. Yeah. I want to find a way to change myself through knowledge about my inner being. The shuffling of the genetic pack is a pretty powerful business.